Don't make me over. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and wherever you're watching in the world, welcome back to F1 Esports Challenges 2022. We're racing in Austria. What are the starts like? It's a good start from Karadzic as Yildirim has to try and cover up. So too does Peter Stoutman as we make our way up towards turn one for the very first time. Almost three wide behind them. Samuel Bay and John Evans and Ica Baena having a ding dong battle going through turn one. They managed to come through unscathed. Karadzic then leads the field up towards the her first heavy breaker zone in towards turn three. Kind of kinky, bro. Fuck the terrorist. Ruben Vallejo. We were almost three wide. We were three wide in towards turn Ooh. four. And that's what happened to Jeffrey Ritchie. But what might not be out of the question is who's going to grab that P7. Miklovcic trying to go up the inside of John Evans there. John Evans goes defensive in towards turn three there. Well, we're about to wait and see then. Paradis still leading then from Azulgrim in second place. Stalgalek in third. Meanwhile, then John Evans is setting his sights on Samuel Bay and then down oh, the inside oh. in towards turn three. Remember, Samuel Bay. Oh, what my God. Oh, what so the fuck? on the exit of turn three and that has opened up a huge gap behind Peter Stalkerleck is out of DRS range meanwhile behind them it's a true Constantina effect and in all of that John Evans is trying to fight his way up the order he's up into fourth place if he can try and get the power down he's still battling away with Samuel Bay and then as we make our way through turn six round the outside we're getting a little bit hairy too wide all the way back now as we head our way through in towards turn seven Caden Lutz lost out big time here he's now down into seventh place as Whoa. Chad Akinji goes around the outside he started towards the back of the field, Chanakichi. He's now up into sixth place. Where did he come from? Three seconds after that incident with Lulash. Peter defends the inside line now into turn three. Yeah, Maglovchich trying to go around go the outside in towards turn three to try and get the power down, but that was always going to happen. He was always going to be shown the outside of the track there as we now make our way down the hill towards turn four. Stalkovic holding on Samuel Bayen still fancies his chances of trying to go around the outside in towards turn four on those medium tyres. Who can get the power down then as we head our way through turn five and towards turn six? Then Samuel Bayen still up the inside on those medium tyres, but Maglovchich trying to go around the outside of Peter Stalkovic out of turn six then through turn what? seven Miklovchich round the outside through turn seven and eight he's managed to hold on he's dug himself in there and held on to that second place what a move from Miklovchich from uh from Miklovich, that was fantastic the way that oh my god Samuel Bain with John Evans off the inside he's off the road that's gonna they're gonna make contact with more cars as they rejoin and I don't know how they Fuck didn't, yeah. to be quite honest with you. They've managed to get away with that one, with both of them running wide, as they now make their way up towards turn three. Once again, Ruben Vallejo has climbed his way up the order before running wide, and Samuel Bayen lighting oh. up the rear tyres. And what was fourth place, but a lap and a half ago, is now trying to battle away with Zoltan Boulder for the last points-paying position in this race. Ishan. Behind them, Samuel Bayen and Urlas as Yildirim also trying to get their way through as well. Miklovic gets up to second on, place, on, meanwhile, on. but with that penalty, he'll start to drop down the order. It's all a mess everywhere. No idea where to look. No idea what to call. Three minutes. 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 Three minutes.